in other words okay so it will break down into Cl minus ions and H plus ions and notice this here that you have no HCl whatsoever there is no H and Cl attached okay so this is called complete ionization so you will have uh, two columns for the H plus and and the Cl minus and here we are referring for the Cl minus as A minus uh, A minus would be the conjugate base of the, of the acid so this is a strong acid for a weak acid let's imagine you have HF so again the, the F fluorine the F plus sorry the fluorine the F minus is the is the purple big circle and the, the hydrogen is a small one so you have HF again in the in the gas phase and if you put this in water yes it will dissociate but as you notice only one one of them dissociate actually it's this one here this is the fluorine and this is the H and most of the other molecules have not been dissociated so they remain as is and this is what we call a weak acid so you start with a weak acid here we call it HB so you have some H plus some B minus but most of the molecules remain the same as HB so this is why we call it a weak acid so a weak this is the, this is very important to understand so this is the difference basically between a weak acid and a strong acid now for a weak acid uh, like HA um, so you have let's say an example of that would be HF or HNO2 or any other weak acid if you put this in water it will produce the hydronium ion the H3O plus which is basically what we call the H plus and the A minus uh, but these two species can react together and, and give back HA so this is an equilibrium as we studied in chapter 13 okay and the amount of h3o plus and a minus is much lower than the ha so this is an equilibrium and we can write an equilibrium constant for that so you have ha which is your weak acid okay and uh, we can just ignore the water here so you have uh, so we can ignore the water here so you have h plus aqueous okay uh, plus the a minus aqueous and let's imagine this is also in the aqueous phase so this is an equilibrium so we can write a k for that so k would be the concentration of the h plus times the concentration of a minus uh, divided by the H divided by the concentration of the weak acid itself of course this would not be helpful in the case of a strong acid uh, this is only for weak acid and because this Ka refers to acid we call it Ka so this is where the word Ka came from it's understandable that the amount of these two guys is much lower than the HA and therefore the Ka is lower than 1 in fact Ka is much lower than 1 for example uh, for a famous uh, weak acid like acetic acid which is the vinegar that you found in your fridge uh, CH3COH this is a weak acid very weak acid it gives you an H plus and uh, acetate ion CH3CO minus the Ka for this it's actually uh, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 which is very small number and this means that you have a small amount of H plus and acetate ion compared to the, to the acid itself in solution of course Ka has no units and uh, in accordance to what we said in chapter 13 and also the higher the Ka uh, the stronger the acid okay so this is basically what we need to study in chapter 13 uh, 14 sorry uh, here are uh, some values of Ka for acids uh, let's compare let's say HF and HCN they are both weak acids you see none of these are strong like you don't find here HCl or HNO3 or anything you find HNO2 which is a weak acid anyway so let's compare the HF and HCN so HF has a value of 7.2 to the minus 4 while HCN it's 6.2 times 10 to the minus 10 and as in that case we say that they are both of course weak but HF would be a stronger than HCN because HCN has much lower uh, Ka uh, what else um, 
when you have a weak acid, so this is a weak acid, we understand that this weak acid will form you, will give the H plus to, to, the, to the water, and what is left is the A minus. In this case, we call the A minus is the conjugate base, conjugate base, like the partner base for, for this acid. And usually, a weak acid will give you a strong base, while a strong acid will give you a weak base. So, for example, if you have HCl, which is hydrochloric acid, if that dissociates into H plus, plus Cl minus, notice here that I have <coughs> uh, used the one arrow instead of the double arrow. So, this is HCl aqueous and this is also aqueous, and this is also aqueous. In that case, we say that HCl is a strong acid, so Cl- is a weak base. Okay? So if you compare the, the bases of weak acid and the strong acid, uh, you can now uh, tell which one is, is, is stronger. Um, let me just here, I have to put the HF as a comparison. So HF gives you uh, sorry, this has to be equilibrium. So H plus and F minus. Okay, so this is a weak acid. So that would be a stronger base. What does weak base and a stronger base mean? It's a, it's of course in chemistry we say it's a weak base. Weak, it's weaker base than water. If you consider water as a base, you know water is a neutral, right? So the pH of water is is, is seven, and water. Sometimes it's behave, it behaves as basis, sometimes it behaves as an acid. So if water behaves as a base, Cl- would be a weaker base than water. F- as a strong base, of course, it, I wouldn't expect it to be stronger than KOH, let's say. KOH is a very strong base. So F- will be stronger base than water. That's, that's what I mean by weak base or strong base. And this example here, He's asking you to compare, uh, arrange the following uh, species according to their strength as bases. So I'm going to solve that question and tell you how we can differentiate. So that's example 14.2 in the book uh, from Zumdal book, uh, chapter 14. So you have H2O, you have water. You have also F minus, that must be coming from HF as a weak acid. You have Cl minus. Uh, that must be coming from HCl. You have NO2 minus. It's a base. Th these are all bases, by the way, because generally speaking, anything with a negative charge, it's a, it's a, it's a base. It's not a rule. But it's not like 90 percent, 90 percent true. And CN minus. It's also a base. Okay. Uh, let's see where these coming from. Now the HF is coming from HF, so it's a conjugate base of HF. Uh, this would be the conjugate base of HCl, and this would be HNO2, not HNO3. Um, be careful about that. HNO2 is also it's also a weak acid, and you have HCN. Now this is a weak acid. That makes this strong base. This is also a weak acid. This is also a strong base. Uh, HCl is a weak acid, so Cl- is actually a weak base, not a strong base. Uh, HF is also a weak acid, so this is a strong base. Okay, and you have water. So if I'm going to arrange this, actually the weakest base of this is Cl-. So I'm going to put it last, so everything is stronger. This is the weakest, this is the weakest player here. Cl- is a base, okay, so this is as a base. Because this is a question. This is what the question is talking about. Arrange as bases. So we, Cl minus would be the weakest, uh, weaker than water. So water would be uh, the next weakest. Weakest. So all of these guys, uh, F minus, NO2 minus, and Cl minus are stronger than water. Now the the thing is, you need to arrange these one, uh, two, three. Uh, so the strongest one would be the weakest acid. So you have to be provided with Ka's for these acids. So if this question comes in the exam, uh, they should have give you the Ka's for these acids. So let's go back to the to the table. Uh, HCN is the weakest. So that makes Cn minus the strongest base actually. So Cn minus is here, 
and if you compare the other two F minus and O2 and O2 minus I think in O2 minus is slightly uh, weaker than uh, than HF so I will I will say NO2 minus is slightly stronger than F minus and that would be uh, the solution for this question so I think in my slides you have this you have the, the answer right here in reverse order the question does not say uh, in, like uh, decreasing or increasing so either you put it this way or that way they are both of course correct okay so uh, by this we, we we spoke about assets and and their ka's and also the relative strengths of their bases now water itself can also be uh, an interesting thing to study because water itself can behave as an asset and base uh, if you go back here you see here that um, so water here played a, a role as a base because it's reacting with an acid but actually if you bring a base like ammonia for example and you add water to that uh, that would be also another equilibrium ammonia is a base so it can take the H plus from the H2O to form uh, NH4 plus which is the ammonium ion uh, and what is left from water is OH minus and this is again um, a proof that ammonia is a base because it can produce OH minus now if you think about this this is a weak base in this case water played a role as an acid okay and this is your conjugate acid and this is your conjugate base uh, in this case by the way this is a weak base so this is a strong acid and in accordance to what we said before so this is what we call an amphoteric species water plays uh, sometimes an acid sometimes as a base so this is what we call an amphoteric species if you if we imagine that we have two species of water so h2o i'm gonna make this is in black okay and water is liquid i'm gonna react this with the h2o another molecule of h2o i'm gonna color this with, with also the red and this is a very very weak reaction but it's important in understanding the equilibrium of essence and bases uh, let's imagine that this water is the base so it's taken an H plus from this red water so we are forming H3O plus here hydronium ion uh, plus what is left from the red water is the OH minus so now if I'm gonna ask you which one is the acid which one is the base this one has given or has donated the H plus to this water so in this case this is the base uh, and this is the acid okay and you can tell this is the conjugate acid this is conjugate base anyway this is an equilibrium so I can write I can write an, a K for that a capital K equilibrium constant and uh, because this is liquid and this is liquid they don't actually uh, participate in the K so that K would be only the the concentration of the ammonium ion okay uh, times the concentration of OH, OH minus ion uh, which would usually we refer this to H plus instead of saying H3O plus if you just remove the water that's H plus and this is called KW so you have KA, KB and KW and KW actually has a definite unit at room temperature it's always equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 it's a very very uh, low number 14 not 4 sorry uh, that's at room temperature KW is affected by temperature uh, it might change at higher temperatures but the significance about that this is, a, is that it, this is a very low number it's, 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 it's almost zero and this means that the amount of H plus and OH minus in a neutral water water is almost zero. Okay, it, they don't exist. However, um, the KW is used usually to find either the concentration of H plus from OH minus or vice versa. So that's a very important uh, rule that you need to know uh, for this chapter. Okay. Also it turned out that the Ka multiplied by Kb 
is also equal to kw so this is also something that you need to consider if you are giving ka or kb you can find uh, one from another using the value of kw at, uh, at room temperature okay uh, Now let us speak about pH. Of course, pH is a very important concept in uh, biological sciences, chemistry and medicine and so on. And it's defined, so the P in mathematics is always minus log. So when I say pH, that's minus log H plus. When I say pOH, that's also the neg negative log of OH minus. When I say P something, that is minus log of that. So for example, pKa is the, the, is the minus log of Ka and so on. So the pH is minus log H plus, and uh, so the higher H plus, the lower the pH, and vice versa. And you might know this from school, that you have an acidic medium between 0 and 7, um, between 7 and, and 14, that's a basic medium, and at 7 exactly you have a neutral. Uh, tap wa water should be neutral, but not the tap water. Tap water, the water that, you, that comes from your tab at home, could be slightly basic or acidic depending on the nature of the water resource but uh, neutral water should be uh, having a pH of 7 um, blood is slightly basic as you might know it's 7.4 usually 7.3 and um, milk is slightly acidic uh, vinegar is very acidic the vinegar the house vinegar around 3 lemon juice of course acidic and so on the stomach has an HCl in it so my, my might be very acidic and a one molar HCl would be having a pH of 0 in the other uh, side you have sea water it's slightly basic baking soda is also basic ammonia is very basic it's a weak base but it's it's having a pH of around 12 and a more basic of that would be a one molar uh, NOH solution which has a pH of exactly 14 and uh, lecture uh, I, I was talking about uh, solutions with lower pH than zero, like in the negative, or higher pH than 14. So I think you can also think about that too. And let's calculate some questions. It says calculate the pH and pOH for each of the following solutions. So you have 1.0 times 10 to the minus 3 OH minus. Uh, so for OH minus, it's easier to start with the o uh, pOH. Of course, I forget to say that the pH plus pOH is always equal to 14 and this fact came from uh, this actually law here if you take the log of each size and so on you come up to this equation so that total of pH and pOH is always 14 and by the way it's pH okay so P small H capital not pH like that so it's not like that or or, or pH okay so these are wrong so please make sure to write down the correct one uh, anyhow we have an OH minus of uh, this concentration so I'm gonna s solve the pOH first that's easy it's minus log uh, uh, OH minus concentration of OH, OH minus and it's equal to minus log uh, 1 to the minus 3 okay so that of course log a negative number it's negative so if you click that in the calculator you'll find it to be minus a three and in that case the minus goes with the minus and the answer is a three and you might think about that it says and this is the base why the pH is no this is not the pH this is the pOH so you need to find the pH now uh, pH plus pOH it's always equal sorry that should be capital O and this is equal to 14 and that means the pH is equal 14 minus a 3 and this should be equal to 11 so yeah this is now basic so basic solution uh, the concentration is not that much and that that's why you have a pH of, of 11 uh, you can also use that do that on your own and you will find the answer 
in 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 here. The pH of a sample of human blood was measured to be 7.41, and that's what I was saying that the blood is slightly basic and blood is buffered. That means the pH of it is almost constant. And we're going to talk about buffers in the, in the next chapter. And the question says calculate pOH H plus and OH minus for the sample. I'm going to find the pOH first. Okay, so this is a question example uh, 14. So this is question, uh, so <coughs> this is example 14.6 in the book and we're talking about blood so uh, the pH is equal to uh, 7.41 uh, so of course he's talking about pOH and that's easy because the pH plus pOH is 14 the total of of that is 14 so you can subtract 14 from that and the pOH would be uh, so 6 point something so that's 6 point Five nine, I think. Yeah. And he's looking for the concentration of H plus and OH minus. So uh, to find the concentration of H plus, you need to do the following. You say pH is equal to minus log H plus. Okay. So basically, you need to do that. And then you sub you you uh, substitute 7.41 in the pH, and it's equal to minus log H plus again. Okay, and the best thing to do is to bring the minus here. So you say log H plus. It's equal minus 7.41. So now you need to use the anti log in your calculator to do that. Okay, there is a there is a button in the calculator that is like the anti log, or you say that that that. The concentration of H plus basically is equal 10 to the minus 7.41, so that's power, okay? And uh, you can use Google. Uh, you can use Google or whatever you like. I'm going to use Excel here. So quick. So this is minus 7.41, and this is equal to 10 power that number. It's not multiply, it's power, okay? And of course, the concentration is too small. And of course, the concentration is too small. It's 3.9 to the minus 8. So it's 3.9 times 10 to the minus 8 molar. That's a very, very low amount of uh, H+. Plus. And this amount is smaller than... 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7 which is the concentration of H plus at neutral solution so this tells you that this actually this solution is basic because you have uh, a low amount of H plus compared to the OH minus let me solve the OH minus t t so I can tell you what's going on now either you can to find the OH minus either you can bring the POH and find the OH minus from it or you can use the fact that H plus multiplied by OH minus is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. And that means that the OH minus basically is equal to the 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by uh, that number, which is the 3.9 times 10 to the minus 8. Okay, uh, molar molar that will cancel out. Uh, sorry, the the, the K the KW has no units, so sorry for that. So so 1.0 a minus 14. Okay, so if I divide this number by this number, so that would be 2.6 2.6 to the minus 7. So 2.6 times 10 to the minus 7. So what I need to tell you is that. At, when you have a pH of 7, when you have a completely neutral solution, you have uh, a concentration of H plus that equal to the OH minus, the concentration would be the same and they will equal to this number, 
0.0 to the minus 7. In this case, in the case of this buff blood solution, you have OH minus higher than this number, and you have H plus lower than this number. So you have here an OH minus higher than H plus, and that's exactly uh, agree or agrees with, uh, with the fact that this is a basic solution. Okay? Uh, so this is a very important homework that you actually need to practice. Here you have the pH, you need to find the pOH. From that you can find the H plus and the OH minus, and you need to determine if this is acidic and basic. And uh, so please go ahead and uh, practice this and fill all these missing information. Okay, now let's uh, move on to calculating the pH of strong acids, and that should be also straightforward. So that's example 14.7. He's asking about the calculating the pH of 0.1 molar uh, nitric acid, which is one of the strong acids, of course. And the best thing to do in this case is you write the equation for HNO3. And if you put that in water, it should be complete dissociation. So there is nothing left that sh should kind of form H plus and NO3 minus. And this is not a reversible e equation, okay? So if you have whatever 0.1 molar of that, and that should give you also 0.1 molar of this and 0.1 molar of that in the same volume. And so you have you have already the H plus, so you can calcul calculate the pH from that right away. And you say pH is equal uh, minus log uh, 0.1. So log, log 0.1 is minus 1, and minus with minus goes away, so that's 1. And so the pH of 0.1 molar HNO3 is indeed uh, 1, which is very acidic. For that, uh, 1.0 to the minus 10, it actually would be 10, but uh, so it's basic, and this means that I'm talking about part B here. So even if you have HCl, but it's 1.0 to the minus 10, that's very, very uh, low amount of H+. Plus. It's, uh, it's lower than 1 to the minus 7, as we said before, and that should actually give you a basic uh, solution, even if it's for HCl. Okay, now the thing is about uh, next is to calculate the pH of weak acids. And now let's gonna talk about the pH of weak acids, and it's gonna be a little bit tricky. And here you need to use the information or the skills that you learned in, in, in chapter 13, the equilibrium. Uh, in this question, uh, it's a long question. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna I'm not gonna read it, but he's talking about the OCl minus, the hypochlorite ion. But the end, in fact, he's not. Uh, asking about the hypochlorite, it's, he's asking about the hypochlorous acid itself, which is it's, it's OCl. He says, calculate the pH of 0.1 molar uh, hypochlorous acid, and he's giving you the Ka for that. So you start with saying that H, uh, now HOCl will not give you H plus and OCl minus uh, as written here, the way it's written here, and you cannot say that 0.1, is it 0.1? Yeah, you cannot say that the point 0.1 will give you point 0.1 and so on. That's all wrong, okay? What you need to say is that HOCl will form H plus in a, ver in a reversible way. So that's it because it's a weak acid, as we explained before, uh, plus OCl minus. Now, yes, initially you have point 0.1 molar, but that point 0.1 molar will not give you a point 0.1. Uh, initially, you have to, f to build an ice table for this. Okay, initial change equilibrium. So yeah, here you have zero, zero initially, and then you assume that you have a, 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 a change of minus x, and here, because they are products, you're going to form plus x and plus x, just the, the same way we did in chapter 13. And then the equilibrium, you have to add this with that. So this would be 0.1 minus x, and this is x, and this is x. And from this equilibrium line, the third line, you can write your equilibrium expression. And then you say Ka, because this is an acid, it's equal x times x divided by 0.1 minus x. Uh, there are two unknowns here, the Ka and the x, but luckily we have been given the Ka. The Ka is 3.5 to the minus 8. So th this is a 3.5 times 10 to the minus 8 it's equal to x squared minus x minus, uh, 0.1 minus x. Uh, in the manner this equation is written, you have to multiply the brackets and you're going to end up with an equation 
that says x squared minus something times x minus a number equals zero, whatever. It's a quadratic equation. And of course, you can solve it uh, using the quadratic formula. However, here you can assume, uh, or we can assume, okay, uh, that uh, we can assume that point 0.1 minus x is almost equal to point 0.1. In this case, I have neglected this x. It's like you have a $1,000 and then you lost a dollar. So yeah, what is left is 999, which is almost 1,000. Because x is too small compared to the 0.1, in that case, we just neglect the x. Of course, we neglect the x in the, in the bottom, in the denominator, not, not, not in the denominator. So uh, you can safely say that just in one case, which is uh, if the if the if the initial concentration of the acid divided by uh, the x, uh, sorry, uh, by the Ka uh, is bigger than 400. It's called also the five percent rule. If you do the opposite, so if you do that, let's actually check this in Excel and you have to do that in the exam by the way. So the initial concentration is 0 0.1 and uh, and this is a 3.5 to the minus 8. You can do this also in the calculator and if you divide this number divided by that number if you divide this by this of course this is a huge number it's m most it's all it's, it's, it's f indeed f more than 400 uh, so we are safe to proceed here and the equation will become 3.5 times 10 to the minus 8 it's equal to x squared divided by 0.1 and that will lead to that x squared is equal if you multiply that by that it's 3.5 times 10 to the minus 9 and that means is that, that means this is x is the square root of that number see now this is easy mathematics here okay so I'm going to find the amount of x using Microsoft Excel and you can do this also in the calculator. So actually I'm going to just multiply this by that. So that's scientific notation here. See 3.5 to the minus 9 and I'm going to find the square root of this. So the answer is 5.92 times 10 to the minus 5. So it's 5.92 times 10 to the minus 5. And because x is concentration, so that's smaller. Now let's go back to the equation and understand what is x. Uh, basically x is actually it's the H plus at equilibrium. It's the amount of H plus at equilibrium. So that's good. So now we have it we have found H plus. And then you can find the pH. I think the question is asking about the pH. Calculate the pH. So uh, the pH is equal minus log that number. Okay. And if you have that number in the calculator, you just can uh, say this is minus log that number. It's 4.23 after the rounding up. So that's good. That's an acidic solution. It's still acidic because you have an acid, a weak acid. And by the way, for HOCl, if you imagine that you have 0.1 molar HCl, let's say, not HOCl, but HCl, the pH of that would be 1. You see here, a strong acid, same concentration, pH is equal 1. This is a weak acid with the same concentration, and it's 4. So now you can understand what is a weak acid and a strong acid. A weak acid will give you a higher pH at the same at the same con concentration. And uh, also, you can define something called the percent dissociation here, which is basically that how much dissociated from the acid, and in that case, it's the x divided by the initial concentration times hundred percent. So, uh, and for example, here uh, we have found the x, which is this number. So you can say you can say the percent dissociation, and sometimes they call it percent ionization. By the way, in some references, the percent dissociation. Okay. 
uh, it's always equal to the how the x divided by the h8 so it's a small number divided by the big number uh, h a of course the initial h a times the percent don't forget it's a percentage and that would be equal to uh, in that case 5.92 times 10 to the minus 5 divided by the initial concentration of the acid which is 0.1 and this is time 100 percent and I'm not sure how much is that that would be a very small number okay so that would be uh, this divided by that I'm gonna multiply this by 100 uh, so actually this is very small number it's 0 0.06 and to be exact 59 so it's 0 0.059 percent that's a very very small amount that is dissociated from the HO HOCl because it's a very weak it's a very weak acid uh, by the way uh, just remember that the percent dissociation of weak acid is 100 percent it's a complete ionization um, so I will leave this as a homework for you calculate the percent association of acetic acid this is the Ka it's a one molar so you do need to build a nice table for this okay and you find X he's not talking about he's not asking you about calculating the pH here but rather the percent association so what you need to do you find X and you divide it by 1 which is going to be the same and you multiply it by 100 and you should be able to have the answer here 1.3 percent so it's very important to practice these type of questions uh, lastly in this chapter uh, the pH of strong bases and strong acids is very similar so for example uh, a pH of that uh, if you have I'm gonna do this in Excel now so if you have a, an NaOH which, which were with 5.0 So if you have a, a, a sodium hydroxide for 5.0 with a concentration equal to the E minus 2. So I need to find uh, the pH. Let me find the pOH first. So this is pOH, which is equal minus log. This does not need any ice table or anything, okay? Because NOH is a strong base. It's minus log this number for the pOH. So this is um, a 1.3. So the pH for this is 1.3. Sorry, the pOH. And the pH would be 14 minus that number. So the pH would be equal to 14 minus this number, 12.7, uh, which makes very sense. Um, it's a basic solution. You should expect that around that number for, for a strong base like that. But the problem is for weak bases. Um, and this is the last question in chapter 14 or the last example actually and it's talking about calculating the pH of one molar solution of methylamine which has a KB of that so what is K what is methylamine um, you know what ammonia is so ammonia is a trigonal pyramidal if you remember uh, So trigonal pyramidal structure with an angle of 104.5 etc tetrahedral arrangement and if you replace one of the H's with a, a methyl so that would be a nitrogen with a lone pairs and this is a methyl group CH3 group and this is the same H and H so this is called a methylamine methyl amine and you would be studying this in details in uh, the future in organic chemistry courses if you replace another H with a methyl that would be dimethylamine and also there are trimethylamines where all the hydrogens are replaced with uh, CH3s these are all uh, weak bases amine, ammonia, amines, uh, methylamine, dimethylamine and trimethylamine and something called pyridine they are all uh, weak bases with KBs not KAs in this question he says calculate the pH of one molar methylamine so I'm gonna start with that now let me write first the equation of ammonia so you can understand that so this is with water water here is the base ammonia is a weak base so we need an equilibrium in that case ammonia is not given the H plus but rather taken an H plus from the water 
so that would form NH4 plus ammonium ion uh, plus OH minus that's not our subject our subject is the methylamine so I'm gonna write methylamine as CH3 NH2 okay because this is your CH3 and this is your NH2 and I'm gonna add water to that, to that. same thing water will give you the H plus right so that will give you uh, CH3 NH3 plus not NH2 but NH3 plus that's the called the uh, aminium ion and plus OH minus if that's too complicated for you you can just call this a base and this is water okay and you can just say this is BH plus that means it's taken NH plus from water plus OH minus of course uh, water does not in include it's not included in the equilibrium so you can build an ice table just the same way you build it for the acid so the base concentration initially is one but that would not give you one you will see this uh, it's gonna be a number here I don't know what is it but uh, basically you because this is initial you uh, you assume that you have zero concentrations and you have a minus x from that and a plus x here plus x here just the same way you did for the acid and that's gonna be 1 minus x and this is xx and instead of ka you write kb because this is the base so kb is equal x square divided by 1 minus x uh, applying the rule of uh, the initial concentration divided by the kb how much is the kb the kb is 4.38 uh, to the minus 4 I'm not sure if this is more than 100 or not uh, I have to try it so I'm gonna go back to Excel and say that I have uh, an initial concentration of 1 and I have a K of KB of 4.38 to the minus 4 so if I divide this by that how much is that I'm not sure oh good so it looks like I have 2000 283 which is more than 100 and by the way I think the 5% rule is li goes like this so this is okay so it's more so now I can assume easily that this 1 minus X is almost equal to 1 okay so that will solve my problem so 4.38 to the minus 4 uh, is equal x squared divided by 1 and that's good because 1 times this is the same so x would be equal to the square root of that number which is the KB easy question and x will be equal to the uh, square root of this that's 0 0.02 so that's 0 0.02 and to be exact we have to be very accurate here 928 let's take the same number the whole number for now uh, and what is this you have to go back and understand what is this X the X here is actually the concentration of OH minus which is good so we have found the OH minus from that you can find the POH which is minus log this number so it's minus log you gonna have to be very very accurate of the free chain between pH and POH so that's 1.68 1.68 that's a pOH and because this is method I mean it's a base you should expecting a pH of a basic and that's right because the pH is 14 minus this number so it's 14 minus that number 12.32 uh, 12.32 sounds like a good number for uh, a, a base yeah 12 point 12.32 yes this is the answer here for this chapter so uh, I advise you to so I advise you as always to solve the problem in the book that's some Dal book and we are in chapter 14 so this is chapter 15 you just go back a little bit and please uh, practice these exercises this is chapter 14 again this is the active learning questions that you might need to skip if you like these are questions you just need to these are basic questions 
uh, I advise my students to start with exercises to save time. So exercise, all the blue ones are answered at the end of the book. So you must solve these questions, 35, 37, all of these beautiful questions. There is nothing omitted from chapter 14 for this course in the year 2023. So actually you need to uh, resolve all of these questions in order to get the, uh, to get them understood. So thank you for listening and, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much.